everyone doing with their Friday? As you can see, I live a very adventurous life. <laughs> thank you. Really nice. <laughs> you have a question, go for it. And thank you. Oh, thank you. The next episode, I'm not sure, in two weeks probably. I think we drop every other thingy, every other Sunday. Hi. Yeah, I'm down. Do you watch it together? Um, no, um, has filming, that's a good question. Has grilling made you more open or judgmental or no change? To be honest with you, I've always been like really open-minded. But I just think on the show, I look I look more opinionated than what I am. Like in real life, I'm very calm, chilled and relaxed. I used to stream and I used to do a stream called Conscious Conversations and I'm bringing it back. So it'll hopefully give people an insight into like how I actually am and who I am. Hey, hey Georgia. Oh, thanks guys. Never, look guys, never do. I'm not a high main, maintained, well-kept lady, I should say. My tits are always out. <laughs> um, no, I'm not married. I'm not married. Oh, thanks, guys. I'm joking. Um, my tits aren't always out. They are out a lot. <laughs> Letting loose. I know. He really was, wasn't he? Tonight, I'm not, I'm not really doing... Come on, here. It's my cat. <laughs> um, thank you. Thanks, guys. Oh, guys, listen. I'm so bad. I need to stop drinking on the episode because I get gassed. <laughs> oh, I love you too. No rude questions. <laughs> but what are you guys doing? Want... Yeah, I'll do that. Listen, hit up my agent. I'm down. I'm going to act. And I'm not doing any fans. <laughs> Oh, thanks, guys. Listen, you not stop gassing me now, guys. Ask me normal questions, and we can talk. You want to do a show? Let's do it. What do you want the show to be about? What do I think about him being locked up? Um, I don't have too much on opinion. I just feel like actions have repercussions, but I don't think he's this monster monster that the media is making him out to be. Wait, you'd be on set gassy. What do you mean? No, 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 not gassy as in like farting. As in like get so excited. <laughs> I'm 30 soon. I'm old, guys. I'm, well, I'm 29. 30 this year. And I don't know what to do for my 30th birthday. And Happy New Year to you too. Um, how did I get him on the show? Do you know what? I actually had him in my... I didn't realize, um, it was through a friend, but I'd had him in the messages, so it was actually saying that the production sorted out. My hair up. Always. <laughs> oh, good. Listen, the ASL lot, we know. <laughs> yes, Alex. Drop Alex, can you drop me an email, please? Just to remind me so I can prompt my um, agents with the actual dates and stuff and arrange it at the school. Guys, how exciting. I'm going to go to prom. I'm going to prom with the young lads in the chat. Obviously, if I'm allowed. Like, we have to speak with the school and stuff. So, yeah, I'm going to prom. <laughs> oh, babes. I just love you. Um, how do you contact my agent? Um, just go on my bio. It's the email on there. Um, thanks, guys. No, the whole fit. This is just like lounge clothes. I'm not. Don't say that. Don't say that. I think it's actually a really cute thing to do. Do you not think? Or is it weird? Is it weird, actually? Is it weird if I go to prom with a lad? 
Like I think I think it's a cute thing to do. Imagine that. Um, yeah, anything show related or work related, drop me an email. Also, I have a new show coming out. Well, no, my new episode for my new show drops soon. It's it's supposed to drop this weekend. Hey Ty, <laughs> baby lotion. <laughs> Yes, no, I've got really ticklish feet. I've got very ticklish feet. <laughs> um, evening. How, um, stand out TV, select them. Yes, I know, it sounds mad. Prom is for 16 year olds, but he'd asked me to go, so I thought I'd turn up for like a couple hours. <laughs> I know it would be weird, isn't it? The double standards are mad. Like women have women privilege. Uh, take a fan on a date. Hmm. I think we should definitely do like a spin-off in the real world though. Um, listen, ASL. <laughs> um twenty-nine. Female. Essex. <laughs> um, no, I really want to come to Canada, you know. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Listen, I'm not even joking, though, because I know that I've done this as an ad, but it's actually made my skin really good. So, yeah. See, so, look, they just had a free promo there. <laughs> Darude, why are you taking your time? <laughs> oh, happy birthday, Seb. Yeah, innit? That's actually a bit... Maybe it is weird. Alex. Hi, Holly. Um, yeah, maybe. Is it weird? I don't really... Don't, you don't think about it. But it's true. It would be a double standard if a 30-year-old man went on a date with a young girl. I would have a lot to say. You know me, you lot. I would literally turn around and call the man a predator. But I'm seeing it as promo. What if it's a promo run, technically? <laughs> can I say bruv? Bruv. <laughs> you can only catch me live. <laughs> Mate, imagine Ian Bill. <laughs> yeah, what's wrong with 30 year old? I won't. The quote, quote master forever. I love a quote, so. <laughs> no, leave them. Ah, oh, Alex, look, they're telling me not to come to your prom now. Ah, <laughs> oh, hi, Gary. Next Conscious Conversations will be out this weekend. <laughs> Who? No. Who? After what date? With who? <laughs> Do I speak Spanish? No. I'd like to learn if you want to teach me. <laughs> right, what is everyone doing with their Friday night? What are you guys doing? No, and it's cool. I don't go. But keep that on low. No, I just feel like just turn up in it. Just do a little like I'll probably be chilling with the teachers if anything. And then go do some pics. See what everyone's plans are after school. Do you know what I mean? Just go as like a Do you know when you just go into the schools to do a talk? That's how I see it. Yeah, <laughs> um, in it. <laughs> From Portugal. Hi. I will. Listen, I'll step on your face. Don't you worry. <laughs> Are you? I oh, thank you. Someone said, right, that I had really bad plastic surgery and that my nose was wonky and I had a hair transplant. <laughs> the internet is wild. That's it. More like a chaperone. That's exactly it. Thank you. Someone gets it. Oh no, my thing's frozen. 
You left your socks on. <laughs> you did not leave your socks in my house. But hi. Oh, do you know what? There's a few people from Canada in here. Really, I actually need a private chef. Hi, Nance. No, guys. Right, okay, let's play a game. I have everyone on the grilling, yeah. Who do you think I'm most likely to actually date in the real world? I just want to see what you guys think. I will take the 25 all day long. I'm going to carnival. <laughs> you are the one I need. Maybe you are. Guys, see that um, company there, My Night Under the Stars? If anyone's got any events, hit them up. They do all like the decorating and planning, so. And of course, it's my amazing friend. <laughs> What's my opinion, opinion on single dads? Single dads that are present in their kids' lives are the most amazing men ever. That is my opinion. <laughs> guys listen you've got to ask me questions because you're going to give me just an ego thank you see gary understands the mission with plp and the conscious conversations oh absolutely i'll definitely do a ceo cast again when i've got a few more things up and running because i got dragged for that podcast yes all natural yeah um, exactly date someone who has a soul not just a pocket guys okay I've got another one what is what is a quote you live by mine is be the person you needed when be the person you needed when you was growing up or when you was younger I don't know the exact line and then I want to get a neon sign that says the dream is free but the hustle is sold separately. But I just, you know, I'm such a tight ass. Like when it comes to buying stuff for myself, I don't like buying it. <laughs> Isn't that a good compliment? Saying someone has a symmetrical face. <laughs> that is not a quote. What kind of ship are going? Thanks guys. Die rich or die trying like that. Listen, drop the emails to Stand Up TV to get on the show. Want is a feeling, it will go away. Now, why don't you do the same? Oh. Don't take ordinary advice when attempting extraordinary things. I like that. I like that one. You don't get what you wish for, you get what you work for. True facts. Live and learn, then learn to live. Guys, I like these quotes. Some of them I've actually never heard before. It is easier to fool a man than to convince him he has been fooled. Let me try this. These are good. This, I can't put my legs down because there's tits there. Um, keep your hopes up high and your head down low. Hard work or smart work. Mm. Who the... No. Stop it. Incest is best. Put your sister to the test. That is horrendous. <laughs> I love the quote, it ain't about how hard you hit, it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. That's how when it's done, a Rocky Balboa, Sylvester Stallone in Rocky. It's easy to dream, just don't let the media create the dream for you. Guys, these are good. Every day above ground is a blessing. Stop doing dates, enjoy life, oh, and fun stuff. Go travel with friends. Listen, this is the plan this year. It's all about the year of traveling. Thanks guys. Make small good decisions, very important. If you can't change the cards you're dealt, change the way you play your cards. Oh, I like that. Can you message me that or just comment that on my page because I really like that. Um, should we watch boxing together? Oh, um, 
Stand up TV. Yeah, absolutely. I'm dating Chris Hemsworth. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm really not. Just in case there's an idiot in here that really actually believes that. Treat everyone equal. No one is better than anyone. Oh, I like this. <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> People don't get what they deserve. They get what they think they deserve. Ooh. That's it. Be who you needed when you were young. That is my favorite saying ever. Um, have I ever looked into Islam? Do you know what? A few of my really close friends are Muslim. So I have definitely, definitely said to them when I'm ready to learn about faith, I will get in touch. They, they can show me. Where are we going then? Come on, I'm going to America. Where are we going? You're either eating at the table or you're on the menu. Nice ones here. The email, um, I don't know, but there's an email on my page though. Adversity can break you or make you break records. I kind of like these. Um, Isaac, man like Isaac. Here's the next grilling date. Roses are red, violets are blue, the cloud determines. Wait, oh no, I lost the last bit. Who are you? Spread the love with Pure Lab Projects. That's it, Gary. Thank you for being the best moderator. Ah, uh, thanks for joining, Glenn. Guys, okay. I'm sorry. Hey, babes. Are you going to come on grilling? I think you should. Um... Thank you. I'm glad you guys like my opinion. Mala, how Mala, come live. I think you should come on grilling if you're still in the chat. I don't know if you're still in the chat. You got you're gonna come live. Um, purpose is forged through sacrifice. You'll be a ten. You sure? With confidence, yeah. All right, we'll see them. Guys, listen, I've not come in here to get my head ego blown. You're a dream man for any woman. Are you sure? What What makes you think you're a dream man? You want to do everything. Bless you. I want to do everything. A, I want to do everything a woman wants me to do to be happy. Is that what you said? Really? I like that. I think that's important. That's a good balance for, like, men and women. Like, I'm pick me. Listen, guys, you need to know when I'm in a relationship with someone or when I'm really into someone, I am the most cheesiest woman. And then when I get serious with that person, you guys will miss me because I will deactivate my account. Yeah, I am that wife. So you better make the most of me now. <laughs> oh my God, yeah. No, I feel like I need to, listen, we finished filming the season. I think we've still got like three episodes to drop. But next season, I'm going in hard. I'm going to go for a new look. I'm going to dye my hair. I'm going to switch it up. Oh, Gary, thank you for joining the chat, babes. Have a nice Friday and nice weekend. <laughs> You guys are funny. <laughs> but, guys, I want you to join Conscious Conversation. So, I'm going to be um, streaming. So, I'm going to start my new streaming podcast. And, well, I've got my new podcast dropping, but then I'm going to be streaming again. So, hit up my YouTube. I think when I reach 10,000 subscribers, I'm halfway there, um, on that channel... And I've got to, and I've got another announcement for a new show that's coming out soon. So once I've dropped them, I will need you guys to show love and subscribe because they're new into different interview shows, and I hope that you'd like them. 
One's more fun, and then one's more wholesome, and then another one's quite serious. When am I going to get married? Um, when I've met the love of my life. <laughs> Can I shout out your boy Will? Hi Will! Adil asked me to shout you out. <laughs> Thank you. But is everyone having a good Friday night? My YouTube, it's the link in my bio. So guys, everyone in this chat right now, all of you, hit that link in my bio, please. And then subscribe, watch the content. You know, it's one of them ones when you get ready, just have it on in the background. You don't even have to rate me like that. Just support me in it. <laughs> Listen, if you subscribe, if, and if you like feet, I'll listen. This, do you remember when I used to send you like foot pics? Or you like foot fetish people? I'd always send foot pics. Yeah, the LV episode is one of my favourite. What's my sign? Pisces. Listen, I can be provoked. I have the patience of a saint. That's what my nan used to say. Rate my date with Billy the Goat. I think, what did I give him, a five? What do I rate myself? I'd say, as a package, I'd say I'm a very solid woman, if I'm honest. I'm loving, I'm kind, I'm passionate, compassionate, caring, loyal. I think I've said a few a couple of times. Um, and I'm really fun in a relationship. And I'm really thoughtful. Most boring conversation to ever cope with. This one. Listen, switch it up. Bring me some flavour. <laughs> are, are you? To be fair, like, oh, is it? A beautiful blouse. <laughs> um, to be fair, I used to have a stalker. So that's probably a craziest fan moment. I know. My guy had his feet out on the date. No, because the show is just an entertainment show, so I don't think they will. Yes, we need, I think we need to switch it up though, just, I think it would be nice to have women on grilling, just to grill them, especially if it's like that gold digger lifestyle. Am I the love of your life? You, you're the love of mine. <laughs> so you guys are funny. Yep, yeah, I'm actually um, putting out a, what would I call it? What do you call it? An advertisement for a summer bay. So the auditions will be starting next week. And then after spring, that's when the shortlists will be made. So looking, so just guys, send in your CV if you think you are the man for the job. <laughs> can i tell you i made a joke once and someone actually sent me their cv like an actual boyfriend relationship cv so i now take them <laughs> oh if i had i'd save oh that's that's a hard one sibling husband or parent well Depends if the husband is the father of my children and we're happy ha in a happy marriage. You know. Put the leg down five seconds. No, no, no job. Just contour, darling. <laughs> no, I have this strict rule where I wouldn't date someone that I work with. When am I going to if I find a man that can tolerate my shit, then yeah. But to be fair, I'm not, I'm not got like a hard life. I'm not a hard person to tolerate. Like I'm just quite a chill person. This one, Kevin Samuels was funny. 23, or oh, I don't know. If he was emotionally intelligent, then yes. No, 
I can confirm I still don't know what a motorbike, 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 whatever that move was, I can confirm I don't know. Ah, thanks babe. From Cape Town. No, he was a great date. No, I'm not 23. Yes, I I like older girls. Um, listen, I'm definitely a villain in someone else's story. No, listen, last time, listen, yeah, you lot. Last time I done. An American voice on live. You lot rinsed me. <laughs> Do you remember that? I don't know if anyone was in the live last time I done it. But you guys were really rinsing me for my American accent. And now I have PTSD. And I don't think I can ever do it ever again. <laughs> Thanks guys. Listen, when I drink alcohol, the class goes out the window. So I might look classy now. A few tequila shots. Gone. That's my favourite Beyonce song, Hello. And I'm actually going to play it now. But I can't because I'm on the phone to you guys. But what is everyone doing with your Friday night? Why is everyone on live to me? Um, and I hope you all subscribe to the link in the bio. Thank you. No, I can't. I'm going to do, I'm going to practice accents and surprise you all. No, because mine's really cheesy American... Like bitchy schoolgirl, dramatic American. I do. Um, right, my darlings, wonderful people. I actually have to go now, but um, have a nice evening. Whatever you're doing, subscribe, watch my new show. It's linked in my bio, so check it out. Hope you guys have a nice friend night. I'm probably gonna come back live in a couple of hours, but I actually need to send someone an edit that I completely forgot about because I wanna drop the new episode this weekend. So yeah, check out the episode. It's Sex, Art and Liberation with Nali. Um, she's really cool. She's like one of the best humans ever. So check her out. Um, let me know what your thoughts on the Conscious Podcast as well because it's more wholesome content. And if you have got like a cool story or anything like that, and you want to come on that podcast, hit up my other page, which is The Conscious Hypocrite. So yeah, check it out. And yeah, that's it. Have a nice night, guys. Um, catch me live later tonight. <laughs>